food and grocery deliveries has become an essential service lately. Provide a hot meal in a timely manner and manage your drivers to keep good tips and customers happy. Hi, my name is Jose Jose and in this video we'll talk about building an application using the TomTom Tom Maps APIs to support this industry. TomTom Tom enables a business to optimize its delivery process by providing delivery identification through geocoding that includes entry information such as parking areas, the most efficient route using all available including traffic information, an accurate estimate of arrival time at each waypoint along the route, and geofencing alerts that allow the application to react to events such as when the driver enters an area or when the driver exits an area or when they have been staying within an area for too long. Sometimes the most reliable route is the route with the best estimated time of arrival, or ETA, usually the fastest route. Even if another route looks short, there may be variability uh, that can cause the ETA to deviate. TomTom's routing algorithm always takes all this in consideration. Let's take a look at the APIs needed for a delivery service app. Geocoding is one operation that will be used repeatedly. It translates an address to a GPS coordinate. The geocoding API is very tolerant to typos and incomplete information. For example, using the query time square, these are the top three results ordered from a confidence score. There are many properties available to narrow down the search using parameters such as the coordinates or bounds or country sets and so on. You can run some tests using the handy API Explorer. I will leave a link in the description. Alongside the coordinates of the building itself is a set of entry points, indicating the positions of possible entrance ways. For example, there are two listed entry points for the Moscone Center, which is in 747 Howard Street in San Francisco. Using the coordinate, then we can perform the next set of functions. Using the GPS coordinates of where the driver is, the pickup location, and the customer location, we are able to calculate the most efficient route using all available information. TomTom Tom algorithm provides several types of routing, including, but not limited to, the fastest route, the shortest one, and the economic one. Note the distinction between fastest and shortest route, even though one is shorter, could have a speed limit of, for example, 60 km per hour. The longer path includes a section of an motorway with a speed limit of 100 km per hour. By default, TomTom Tom API would choose the fastest route available. Better yet, TomTom Tom is able to optimize travel time using its industry-leading traffic data for immediate departure or analysis of historical patterns for future departures. Using this routing information, we can know when a driver needs to leave to pick up the order and when a customer can expect the arrival. TomTom Tom has a massive database of point of interest, or POIs, including restaurants, grocery stores, parking lots, gas stations, charging stations for electric vehicles, just to name a few. Given a coordinate, we can find such POIs near the destination using nearby search, or with a calculated route, we can even find POIs along such route using a maximum allowable detour time with the Along the Route Search API. Geofences allow us to monitor an area and respond to events such as when the driver is within range or when they leave the area or when they are dwelled within the area for a certain amount of time. Used together with the notification API, we can send out alerts through emails or webhooks URLs when a driver crosses a fence, notifying the customer to get ready for the pickup. We could also send dwelled alerts if a driver stays too long within a geofence. This is important to fleet managers so they can follow up if there are any issues with the delivery. For example, the driver cannot find the entrance or the driver is waiting for the delivery to accept the package or so. Before we begin, you will need an API key. You can obtain one by signing up for free at the TomTom Developer Portal. The focus of this tutorial is on the implementation of the following endpoints. The first one, a driver looks up at an order and decides they can take it on. 
And the next one is to the driver reporting the current location. The code in this tutorial was written in Express.js, but the logic is contained in one single file. You can be easily port this into any other application. You can also find the latest map SDK for web on our content distribution network as a minified JavaScript file or on a downloadable zip package. The SDK can be installed via Node Package Manager, NPM, using this command. Since we are implemented a server in Node.js, we would like to use the Node version in our file. Geocoding is an important operation in our app. By translating the pickup and delivery addresses to coordinates, we can determine the best route for the driver, create geofences, and find POIs along the way. Here is the full implementation of the getGeocode call, which we will use as an utility function through the app. We don't need to narrow the search any further as we would have the full address on both the pickup location and the delivery location. Now we can move on to the next step, when the driver clicks on an order and accepts the job. In our scenario, driver 1 will go to the pickup location and deliver it to the customers at the destination. The order will be ready to pick up in 30 minutes. Let's start with calculating the estimated time for the driver's current location to the pickup location. Since we know when the pickup will be ready, we can also calculate the time it takes to go to the pickup location to the final destination where the customer is. To calculate the route and obtain an estimate, build up a request like so. Making the same call for the two trips seems inefficient. We can batch them together by combining the request into an array and setting the batch mode to sync. You can expect an array then of responses back. Now let's take a look at the complete version of the function. To set up geofences and alerts, we are going to create a project for the order, create a geofence for the project, and then geofencing object that represents the driver. First, we need to generate an admin key for geofences by making a post called. Then you will need to provide a secret in the body of the request. This key will be used in conjunction with the API key when making calls to the geofencing APIs. So don't forget about it. Next, we need to give TomTom Tom permission to record object transitions. These calls only need to be made once. I have included it in the sample, but you only need to make that call once through the curl or postman as outlined here, or through JavaScript. And here are the methods for each of the operations. First, the utility method for building the API request, then creating a project, and now creating a geofence. And lastly, this is to create an object for the project. Now that we have a geofence, let's add an alert rule so when the driver enters an area, we can send an email to the customer. First, let's create a notification group for a customer. With a notification group, we can create an alert that connects the driver, which is the object, the geofence, and the customer all together. When the driver is in the area entering the geofence, an alert will trigger and notify the customer via the notification group. Note, there is a different set of alert rule constraints for each of the alert types. For transition alerts, transition type is required. If you want to create a dwelling alert, simply replace alert type and alert rule constraints. This will send out an alert if the driver stays within the fence for more than five minutes. Now we have two alerts set up for the geofence. All we need is someone to trigger it. We still need a way for a driver to report the GPS location to trigger these alerts. With a combination of the search, routing, and geofencing APIs, we can provide timely routing information for both your drivers and your customers. And remember, with the APIs, the routes are created with live traffic information and historical traffic information to provide a reliable estimated travel time. And with the geofencing APIs, the application can react when drivers are exiting or entering an area with alert rules. Also, there are many parameters available for each of the API calls. You can check them out in our API Explorer in our developer portal. Do you want to get started? Sign up for a free developer account, try our tutorials, and let us know in the comments how did it go.
Ah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy delivering.